What's going on guys? Welcome here to Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri, where we got a town hall meeting today because this morning they're announcing their biggest single investment ever into this park, which is like huge. In case you're keeping track, that would be more than time traveler. So this is a big deal. Rumor has it, it's gonna be something to do with fire in the hole. They've been working on a massive building over there, which we're gonna take you guys on an exclusive construction tour after the announcement. So I can't wait for that, but first we're gonna learn all the details. So let's go on inside and see what this thing is. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is a great day to be at Silver Dollar City and a historic day to be at Silver Dollar City. I just want to talk a little bit about what's happened in this special place over the course of the last 10 years, going back to 2013. Silver Dollar City opened Outlaw Run, but we also opened Fire in the, or, I'm sorry, Fireman's Landing. 10 rides and attractions specifically focused for families. Then three years later, we worked with Mock Rides in Germany to create this incredibly unique spinning coaster. The only place in this nation that you can ride a ride like Time Traveler is right here at Silver Dollar City. Then in 2020, we put four rides into one, Mystic River Falls. All of what I've just described to you cumulatively adds up to $200 million in investment at Silver Dollar City to make your experience better and to make your family's experience better. In 1972, Silver Dollar City opened the original Fire in the Hole. It was one of the world's first indoor coasters. The new Fire in the Hole, making history for a whole other generation. It is the largest indoor family coaster in the heartland. There are 14 iconic scenes. There's onboard audio, so you can hear that sound crystal clear. There are enhanced special effects, and there are lighting features throughout the entire ride. The track's nearly a third of a mile long. When we built Outlaw Run back in 2013, we partnered with Rocky Mountain Coasters to build that magnificent ride. As we were looking at this unique ride and the complexities of a ride inside of a building, we thought through who would we use as a partner and we chose Rocky Mountain Coasters out of Idaho. This Fire in the Hole $30 million investment is the largest investment that we have ever made in any singular attraction at Silver Dollar City. The new Fire in the Hole building is directly behind Fireman's Landing. There'll be a new street that you'll be able to enter Fire in the Hole through Fireman's Landing, but then you'll also be able to enter it in other ways. It adjoins, for those of you who've been here during our new autumn celebration, it adjoins Pumpkin Plaza, and you'll be able to get there from that direction as well. We're renaming that entire area, the new area, will now be called the Fire District. How fun is that? So there you go, the big 2024 announcement. Fire in the Hole is coming back. I'll talk a bit more about it at the end of the video because we're about to go do the construction tour, but uh, that's so cool. I love that they're bringing this back. I think it's gonna be like awesome. And it's RMC. And they gave us a box of goodies. Got some Fire in the Hole merch. I see stickers, some pieces of candy. I think there's a big towel in the center. They also gave us a full loaf of cinnamon bread to go. That is incredible. Check this out. I know it was just announced, but we already have a bunch of merchandise for the new Fire in the Hole, including some mugs and the t-shirts actually look really good. So we made it over to Fireman's Landing. We're about to start our construction tour, going behind the fence to see the new building for Fire in the Hole. And as we're walking in, they have this big piece of artwork here talking about the new attraction, going over some of the stats, showing some of the scenes. So here we are. We already got like a bunch of the facades up. It looks really nice. So some points of interest. So there's the train tracks. So you will have to cross the train tracks to get over to this area. And then this is gonna be the new show street that they're talking about. So when you go down here, that's gonna lead to Grand Exposition. And you're gonna just see the sheer scale of this building. So it says the biggest indoor roller coaster building in the heartland. So that is excluding Ohio because technically the Flight of Fear building is bigger, but we are looking at over 30,000 square feet for this thing. So enormous. They do have viewing area, so you can see the track, rock work over there off in the distance. It looks awesome. Check this out. So I think we're looking at the station area. It looks so nice. And there's literally some of the track that is 
RMC iBox Track. This is easily the most different environment we've ever seen iBox Track in. I mean, I know that they have some on Blazing Fury at uh, Dollywood, but I haven't gotten the chance to like get up close to it in person. So just seeing this here is just very, very cool. So there's gonna be some queue railing set up here where you'll board. That's gonna be the exit. And we have a look at the trains right here. So they're RMC trains modeled after the original Fire in the Hole train. So it is a completely different design that we haven't seen from RMC before. And this is what the station's gonna look like. So this is the big drop at the end of the ride. And right here is the splashdown. So you can see the concrete trough for it all. So if you've ridden Blazing Fury at Dollywood, that one does not have the splashdown, but Fire in the Hole does. So they are bringing that back from the original for the new one. I can't believe we're allowed to be in here. Look at this. Wow. See all the different areas of track? There's some catwalks going up to the different levels because remember, this is a multi-story building. Climbing up to the second level. So here's a good look at some of the show elements. You can see all this rock work right here. Well, rock work, but here's the trick. You can see how to do it. Look, it's flimsy. This looks great on the surface and really nice texture, but it is very, very hollow. Here's a close-up look at our iBox track. They have a whole house in here, or at least the outside of a house. You can see it's like totally windblown, been destroyed. And it's just at the very early stages of construction. Once this is done, it's going to be all decked out. It's going to look really nice. From up here, you can see some of the lower sections of the track. And then here's one of our drops. So there will be three drops during this ride. I am not sure which one this is. It's definitely not the last one, though. Uh, let's start here. So there you go, an exclusive construction tour of the new Fire in the Hole here at Silver Dollar City. Huge thank you to the park for allowing us to go back there and check everything out. Uh, we honestly got to see way more of it than I was expecting, and everything looks really, really good. Uh, I'm excited for it. Uh, I want to come out here next year and experience it. Um, I think it is so, so cool. And uh, just seeing that in person only made me like appreciate more what they're doing for this thing uh, preserving history while also like innovating and coming up with like new technology to keep this attraction going for the next 50 years which is awesome to see you don't really get that at many other parks so hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to stay tuned for more here at coaster studios we'll see you next time